kick back, relax. Let me put you on to game, all right? So first on my list, we have 2B TV. Now, the thing about 2B TV is that it is pretty much selling itself on being the free version of Netflix. Kinda is, kinda isn't. I, I don't, you could be the judge when you go like look at it or whatever. But basically, 2B TV is a very, it has a lot of content. I will say that it has so much content. Uh, uh, this shit um, has so many gems on here. It's got Yu Yu Hakusho. It's got the first season of uh, Attack on Titan. It's got a couple movies on here like Red Line, Wicked City. Uh, it's got like most of Yu Gi Oh on here. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, a couple of underrated gems like Cosmo Stigma. Um, it's got a lot on here. Uh, it's also got a lot of martial arts movies, a lot of action movies. Um, it's got a couple of uh, family movies like uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Uh, I like that movie. Uh, uh, it's got a lot of stand-up comedies on here. They got George Carlin. If you've never watched a George Carlin stand-up, I highly suggest it, like, immediately, bruh. Other than that, I highly suggest Tubi TV as a alternative for watching anime and falling on a budget. And I mean that budget is fucking, like, 10 cents out of your bank account. Uh, <laughs> so, moving on, we have Pluto TV. Now, Pluto TV is kind of like you're basically getting a bunch of reruns. Um, most recently that I've noticed is that it has an on-demand service. Uh, I enjoy it. Oh, before I go any further, for those who are Naruto fans, they have an entire channel dedicated to Naruto. They will literally play the entire series back to back to back 24-7 for Naruto, okay? That's already a W. Um, they have plenty of other gems on here. They have, um, um, they got some boxing matches and shit. Uh, they got uh, the dramatic, the dramatic shit, like uh, Steve Wilkos, Jerry Springer, Mari, in case you wanna be trash today. Uh, they got more martial arts movies. They've got anime, of course, like Megalobox, JoJo's, uh, Death Note, um, Trash Ass Bleach. They got they got a lot of content on here, uh, but it's more so like that on demand style. So if you're not into that, then I can see why you wouldn't want it. But for the most part, I would highly suggest it. Uh, moving on, Adult Swim. Now, Adult Swim doesn't have that much anime, but it's got all the Fooly Cooly, so that's a nice trade. Uh, <laughs> um, it's got a couple on here. This updating with the episodes that premiered for Paranoia Asian in case you didn't know that came back on Tsunami, I believe. Plus, they have all of their old shows like Aqua Teen Hunger Force, The Brack Show, uh, Space Goes Coast to Coast. Um, they got Rick and Morty on here. They got Medical Apocalypse. They've got those. So, so this just sell it to you guys right here. They've got all of Samurai Jack on this shit, bro. I I love what that Adult Swim did. That they are just fire for that forever. Um, they got the Eric Andre show, The Venture Bros, uh, Black Jesus for all twelve people who watch that. There, there's plenty enough here to keep you busy because if you if you listed off all the shows, a lot of them have a lot of seasons and a lot of them have uh, have a lot of episodes. So, like like Robot Chickens on like season 99 or some shit. Uh, so it's plenty of content. There's no reason in blue hell not to at least give Adult Swim a try least recommended out of all of these retro crush all right so i'm gonna start on a positive note anime app that basically 
what it does is puts a lot of the older content for our anime like uh, the 70s, 80s, 90s shit. Um, but it's a lot of underrated shit. Like the, uh, there's only a handful of it's, it's just like more hand drawn type shit. So, and I appreciate that, uh, especially for the price of free. Now, uh, that's about all the compliments I'm gonna give it right now. Uh, that video player needs work. Um, those ads are inconsistent as fuck. You're in the middle of a fucking fight and that shit just like comes to a stop to tell you about this orange juice and shit that's getting on sale at fucking Walmart or something. I don't know. But basically like that, that sucks. Um, also, they don't have any type of watch list for real like they just have it episodically you can save certain episodes which is dumb you should be able to save the entire show i do recommend it as a free anime app i don't recommend it if you you're paying for stuff or you have other ways to watch this anime like just in general so basically what i'm saying is Retro Crush, get your shit together so I can recommend you better. Appreciate you.